Well, I say hello in a weird way when I answer the phone. Like I normally just go hello on the phone. Hello. Why do I? Why do I? Why do I change? Uh, hello. What's that all about? Morning. 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 Emily. Hi. 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 Oh, cute. And Hannah. Just three pastel girls living in a pastel world. <laughs> And um, what was your meeting about? We were just briefing Lena on Hoka. So we're working with them across three different territories. As Lena is German, she's going to be working on the German side of things. So what is our campaign with Hoka? There's two different parts to it, working with two different types of influencers. There's also kind of event attendance. So there's loads of moving parts across three different territories. But it's a good one for Lena to be involved in to start with. Going in the deep end, but... We have. <laughs> Trusting my luck. Why not? <laughs> How's it going, mate? Hello, Craig. Um, it's good. It's all starting to kick off at the moment. We've got two huge clients who are currently onboarding. So I'm going to be account managing both of them. We pitched for them, what, like four months ago? Yeah. And it was just a very slow process, but got there in the end, and it's all happening now. How is it like finding the influencers for such a big brand, like such a big corporation like that? I think for each client they have different priorities in terms of what they want from their influencers so across all of our clients we normally have a wide range of diversity making sure that we've got different skin tones covered different areas of UK covered all of those different considerations and then also just making sure that the influencers we're using are going to hit the objective so if it's an acquisition campaign we're going to use influencers that we know are going to drive sales if it's a um, campaign driving ticket sales we'll do really highly localized influencers who have an audience in that particular area so just to Depending on what the campaign objectives are, we'll make sure that we're choosing the right people. Ooh, I can't wait. Well, keep me posted. <gasps> we'll do. Bye. Maybe you can be an influencer <gasps> on it, Craig. Please. Yes. What could you do? Male grooming? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Or pets. <laughs> okay. Also, if you want to do uh, black male fitness nutrition, there's also a gap. <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very specific. specific. It's all about making niche content niche audiences at scale. Ah, scale. Craig, you're going to make it big. Right, okay, watch me blow up now. Currently talking about how your voice changes when as soon as you get on the phone. If you aren't comprehensive in how you say things, then it can kind of come across that you're not firm on your point. Oh uh, yeah, okay, maybe, yeah, sure. Well, then they're not going to read it, but if you really hit home a point, these are the facts, this is how we've made our decisions, this is the reason why. Non-threatening, but assertive. I'm also friendly. It's quite complex. A lot of balls you got to juggle. What's your phone voice, Carol? My phone voice? Yeah. We've got a slightly lower voice, but then as soon as I get on the phone, I'll be like, hi, hello. Gentle. But then once I start to get into the conversation, then it starts to go. The real Carl comes out. The real Carl comes The real Sun Shady. But always has That's the thing, is that I don't want to be like a salesman where I'm like phoning and like trying to be a salesman. I just want to have a conversation with people. Mm -hmm. I say the word niche a lot. Yeah. In my head, I've got a niche counter. So you try and say like, yeah. instead of saying niche content to niche audiences at scale, I'll be like <laughs> specific content to relative audiences at scale. <laughs> so you always got to try and mix it up. You know That's this. It. You know this. His phone voice is the Hi, best. Hi, uh, <laughs> Good afternoon. Just, uh, obviously, uh, in terms of um, the campaign, so yeah, obviously, yeah, no, 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 obviously no, 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 it's going well. And, and so just in terms of, no, but he's right. In terms of, and it's audience. weird, it's weird. When you're in a job like we are, you get into a rhythm that when you're pitching and you're you're doing stuff, it's just, that's the automatic and that's yeah. the drive. When you're doing it, you can't help. Like I, I physically go through my head like, don't say in terms of, don't say in terms of. And then next thing you know, in terms of the delivery and the guaranteed results we're looking at, in terms of the scale, we're gonna be fine. And you're just like, no, and it's so hard to get yourself it out is, of that rut. It is so difficult, especially when you're saying not necessarily the same thing over over and over, but we we do have a sales pitch and a and a process and a thing that we do say, like we're talking about our guaranteed results. There is a reason for it and we're having to say, have that conversation 10, 20 times a day. So sometimes you can get into a rut. Do you have a telephone voice? Don't, yeah, I do. What's your telephone voice? Mine's, I go really posh. Hello, this is Livia France speaking from the Go Agency. Yes, this, yes, this is Go Solutions, yes. How, how can we help you today? Why well, have you suddenly yes. become not cop? Okay, okay, oh, well, uh, okay, 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 fantastic. I'll let him know. Okay, have a great day. Goodbye. 
That's how you oh. fucking do it, mate. I'm just a bit. I find that if you do your calls like this, mm -hmm. then you have a telephone voice. But if you just have your phone as a speaker, which is what I mainly do when I have a call, then you're just doing other things whilst you're talking. Something, and therefore you're you're not thinking about the fact you're on the phone. Therefore you just talk normally. Well, I say hello in a weird way when I answer the phone. Like I normally just go hello on the phone. Hello. Why do I? Why do I? Why do I change? Uh -huh. Hello. What's that all about? I haven't actually got anything to ask you. So tell me what's on your screen. Um, it's a competitive analysis. However, I have been doing research into Reddit and how brands can use Reddit to their advantage. And it's so crucial because it's like the start of where social conversation happens. So like, if you see a meme on Instagram or Twitter, most likely it began on Reddit. So it's kind of understanding how to look for different topics on the platform. And also one big advantage for brands is so you can find out what the conversations are around. Let's say Waitrose, overheard on Waitrose, there would be like a thread on that. And you could kind of see the people's opinions around Waitrose, what people are talking about, like the memes. And I think that's really useful when you want to do like marketing strategy because you can then show that you've got like a, you know your audience, you know what they're talking about, you're very in touch with them by just understanding what the conversations are going around them. So that's how you could use Reddit. I, I think, as I said yesterday, I was preparing to get lots of things done because Aaron wasn't going to be in. Aaron's not in. So I've got lots of things done. I spent a lot of time with client guys, spent a lot of time with clients this morning. I spent a bit of time with finance. Yeah, overall, been pretty good today. I had a, a catch very up with different... Matt. Did you? Yeah, I had a catch up with him. Oh, really? Yeah. Is, he, is he okay? Is he alive? Yeah, he, yeah, he's doing good. He's doing good. Ah, greetings, my friends. I am in Costa Rica, or as the locals say, Costa Rica, amongst the greenery or the verde. <sighs> it's the longest time I've actually been away since starting GOAT, and I'm not going to lie, I kind of want to get back now. You know, the wildlife's amazing, the sloths, either two-toed or three-toed, doesn't really matter, they're slow, they're hard to see. It's been an amazing trip, but I want to get back. I want to annoy people, I want to get some insight, and the coffee's shit here. Anyway, I've got to go see some Jaguars. Apart, well, there was a comment on YouTube saying, um, hashtag bring back Matt. No, no offense, Craig. No, look, <laughs> look, it's a team effort. We're all pulling together at the right moment. Um, well, I say bring back Matt. Oh yeah, I mean, it's not an easy job. It's no, not. It's not an easy job. Going, just so we do a daily vlog every single day. Oh. So, 